The time has come that I jump ship from Forger to Nomad Sculpt. Forger is a great program. I learned a lot. I've used it for almost an entire year. But the things that Nomad can do, I wish I had been doing for the past year. This is my very first sculpt I did. I started out. I started out making this Oni mask just to get used to the tools and what different things did. This was day one. By day two, I had landed here. And I ended up the next day adding a little bit of detail and ultimately coming up with this samurai. Nomad is missing a few things that Forger did have to make it a little bit more powerful. Probably Forger's greatest feature is the modeling interface. I've not used desktop 3D programs, but from what I understand, this is kind of common. You can go in, select a face, any face, any number of faces, and manipulate that polygon face by itself, isolated. Nomad has kind of a cheat to get around doing some aspects of this, but it is by no means as powerful as just having a dedicated modeling interface. You can even select individual nodes and pull them, manipulate them, move them around. This is something I really wish Nomad had. Nomad does have a variety of these amazing features like the tube. As far as I know, Forger has nothing like this that uses a spleen that you can manipulate each node individually. You can manipulate it as a whole. There is so much diversity in this program. I played with this thing for hours, doing nothing but just experimenting with different features and the versatility. Spoiler alert, this becomes a horn in the dragon you'll see later. Here's another great use of the spleen, but done in a different technique. Instead of using the tube, you can actually use a curve between a clone of an object. It almost seems endless the combination of different features you can use together to make absolutely anything you can imagine. Mirroring is another thing. Like the spline, there's not just one way to do it and there's not just one application for it. One of my complaints with Forger later on was that they got rid of the center line when you were using symmetry on an object. Not only does Nomad have the ability to turn that line, that symmetry line off and on, but you can also manipulate it. You can move it around. You can change its places. You can change its orientation. Also, mirroring is not only good to do symmetry on an object, but you can mirror objects so that when you sculpt onto one object, it duplicates it onto the other object. This is great for eyes, horns, teeth, anything that appears on both sides of the body. I wanted to work on a few projects before actually recording a speed sculpt video, just so I wasn't fumbling as much and didn't have as much to edit. So my second project I created was this dragon to go with the samurai that I made. The serpentine potty was actually made out of the spline with the circles that I was showing before. I just carved a little divot out 
to make the chest armor and it repeated all the way down. Another really cool thing that I like about Nomad over Forger, and I'm sure Forger can do a lot of these things, there are just very, very few tutorials. But with Nomad, I went in, I had already printed out one of these samurai. So I measured his base with a pair of calipers. I made a disc and I sculpted the dragon's tail around the disc so that when I printed them out, I could fit the samurai right into the curl of his tail. Again, I'm sure this is something that you can do with Forger. It's just in a year, I never really dug deep enough to figure out how, and there are so few tutorials. If you can't figure it out, it's really hard to learn on your own. Another thing that Nomad has that I love is the way to manipulate the lighting. You can change the color of your clay. I landed on red. I'm not really sure where red came from. Uh, probably because I was making an Oni mask as my first project and I just didn't change it. But you can change the color of the lights. You can change the color of the shadow. You can change the intensity of the light or the shadow. The options are extensive. In conclusion, I love what I learned in Forger. I love the year that I spent doing that. It got me into 3D. I never really thought I would be doing anything like this. And I'm sure learning Nomad was a lot easier just because of the time that I did work in Forger and understanding what that was. But this program is so in depth and can go so far and I am just a few weeks into using the program so I am sure there is a lot that I don't understand I'm learning more and more I will start uploading videos maybe a few tutorial videos on how I did certain things let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video